Country Hall sees the yearly presentation of the Binney Memorial Medal, commemorating the death of Captain Binney RN at the hands of escaping criminals and awarded for the bravest act by a person assisting the forces of law and order. Mr. Temple, a company director, received this year's medal from Lord Allenbrook. Police Commissioner Sir Harold Scott described how Mr. Temple, after a constable was shot at his side, chased armed burglars through his store, detaining one of them until he was arrested. So the Binney Medal finds a brave holder. A member of the selection committee which decided the award, Earl Mount Batten, adds his praise of police and civilians alike. When they joined the police service, they joined a brave and courageous service, and their valour is almost to be expected. But what was quite new to me was to find this great number of citizens of, if they'll forgive my using the expression, the men in the street, who, on the spur of the moment, is called upon to show valour of the highest possible order. It is such a very encouraging thing here for us to feel that our citizens can and do behave like this. And I hope that in the press of the world, some notice may also be taken of the fact there's not much wrong with England. And Mr. Temple again meets the constables he so bravely assisted on that September morning in 1950, the day an ordinary citizen won an award for gallantry.